Hi students. Today's question is based on capital rationing. Financial management, capital budgeting topic, capital rationing. In which circumstance capital rationing arises? Whenever available fund is less than required fund, then capital rationing arises. Whenever resource constraints are there, capital rationing arises. Resource constraint represent what? Available fund less, whereas requirement of fund is more. Nothing but initial investment to start the business is shortage. In that question, I have given available fund 22 lakhs. Project A, Project B, Project C, D and E. Five projects are there. Each project to start the initial investment comes to 5 lakhs, 5 lakhs each. Therefore, if you want to start all the 5 projects, you need 5 into 5, 25 lakhs. Whereas available fund only 22 lakhs. Therefore, shortage of fund, resource constraint is there. So whenever you come across resource constraint, we have to solve the problem by way of capital rationing. With respect to capital rationing, with respect to capital rationing, resource constraint is there for that purpose. The project can be broadly classified into two types. One is called divisible project, another one is called indivisible project. What is called divisible project? Project is breakable means divisible project. Nothing but partial investment possible means that is called divisible project. If the project is not breakable, partial investment is not possible, then it is called indivisible project. The project is divisible, then how to select out of five projects are there? Which project I have to select based on rank? In what basis I have to allocate the rank? In case of divisible project, profitability index is a criteria to fix the rank. Based on profitability index, you have to allocate the rank. What is the formula for profitability index? Total discounted CFAT divided by initial investment is called profitability index. In case of project is divisible, how to select the project? based on net present value. What are the formula for net present value? Total discounted CFAT minus initial investment is equal to net present value. Based on that, we have to allocate the rank. First rank, second rank, third rank. Accordingly, we have to invest the money. In this problem, we are having 22 lakhs only. Therefore, the last project, first to four project, you need what, what? First rank product, second rank project, third rank and fourth rank project. Each year going to allocate 5 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 5 lakhs. Initial investment 20 lakhs over. Remaining 2 lakhs will be there. Last rank project, we need 5 lakhs. Therefore, if it is divisible project, I can invest 2 lakhs. Some other person can invest 3 lakhs. Therefore, this divisible, whatever the net present value I am going to get, 2 is to 3 ratio, we have to apportion. We can be the portion to enjoy, like partnership. If it is not breakable, then I can't the portion to choose that particular project. Because if at all I want to select the project, I need full 5 lakhs. That is called indivisible project. So capital rationing is an expected question. Frequently asked a question also. In this examination, kindly refer capital budgeting top. Capital budgeting, capital rationing topic. All the theory I have provided in my FM LMR book, last minute revision book, which is available in Premier Academy. Each and every topic I have mentioned what are all the expected questions, frequently asked questions I have mentioned in that book in the last page, each and every topic in the end of the each and every topic. Kindly refer those theories that itself more than sufficient for the coming examination. All the best student. Good night.